done with work for the weekend. Okay, I think I just did my makeup and hair in like 10 minutes. That was a record. Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another weekend in my life in New York City. I'm really excited about this weekend. I have a lot of fun little things I want to do. Um, and I'm excited to take you guys along. We're doing a little vlog. If you guys are new, my name's Danielle. Hello. I haven't left my apartment yet today because I woke up and it was like, I am deep cleaning my apartment. I'm doing the whole thing. And then I sat down and edited a video, responded to emails, had a merch call. Basically, it's 5.47 p.m. and I haven't gotten fresh air. So, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna take you guys with me to my roof. It looks like it's golden hour right now. The sun is definitely setting a lot earlier than it has been in New York. The days are already getting shorter. This Florida girl is struggling, but it's okay. I'm not struggling yet, but I know it's gonna be tough. So, I'm gonna just throw on a little jacket or something. I just thought it'd be fun to go check out the roof. I'm obsessed with my roof. I'm so thankful that my apartment has one. And get some fresh air and then come back down, start making dinner. And then um, Ryan and I are gonna have a little date night. And we're kind of doing a little date day tomorrow too. I'm kind of excited about it. How many times did I say kinda? Anyways, let's go. fun and random of me. I don't know why I was just feeling it. Felt good. Also, I feel like I do need to fix my hair, so let's go do that. And we're back to my nest. <laughs> okay, so basically, I have my hair in a foam roller. Ryan's gonna come over tonight, and we're gonna make dinner. I have ingredients to make one pot pasta. My roommate in college and I, Delaney, we used to make it together all the time. It's so good, it's so easy, I'll show you guys. But I think we're gonna make dinner here, and then we might venture over to the west side and check out Little Island in like Chelsea area. It's on the Hudson River. Um, I just have to make sure it's open at night or we thought about taking the ferry over to Brooklyn But like we kind of want to do that tomorrow during the day Or we also just love a good comedy show. We have like thoughts in our mind of what we're gonna do tonight We just don't want to go to bars. We want to do something else. We want to do something creative different So updates to come but with that I don't know what to wear because I don't know exactly what we're doing I think it's gonna be like chill vibes. So obviously my mind immediately goes to jeans. I wear jeans all the time but I feel like that's what makes sense. Ugh, I really don't know what to wear. Okay, I'm thinking about just wearing this dress from Zara. I love it so much. It's just like this ribbed midi dress and I could just pop like a leather jacket over it or something. Easy boom done. And, and some boots or sneakers. I feel like that's just what's easiest. So that's what we're gonna do. Decided on this little cute number. I literally just got it at Zara, so hopefully it's still available. I'm just gonna keep this necklace on. It's from the M Jewelers. And then I'm gonna put these little hoops on. Big hoops, actually. They're from Lisa Goslin Jewelry. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I just love them. I love the clasp. I just, I love everything about them, truly. So I'm just putting those in. Literally, who is she? Ryan just called me and he has a little bit more work to do. So I'm gonna finish up a couple things on my computer and then we're gonna start dinner. So I think it's time to get the vibes started. I haven't used this candle yet and I bought it to go in the center of my table. So I think tonight's the night. A little candle at dinner. Nothing more satisfying than lighting a brand new candle. Ta-da! Got a little cry. Cheers. Amazon. Play Frank Sinatra. This is Frank Sinatra from Spotify. Thank you.
All right, you guys, it's time to do the one pot pasta. I thought I'd show you guys how I do it. I basically just prepped everything over to the side. So we're starting off with some spaghetti. You're, I found this on Pinterest, by the way, this recipe. I did not make it up. Um, ooh. So what I like to do is break it in half. Um, it just makes it a little easier to cook, and I definitely should have mm, done a smaller amount there at one time, but that is just not how I roll, you know? I'm an impatient queen. And then you basically add everything else on the side. So I'm gonna add, well, I'll do the tomatoes first. Literally, the prep is so fast. Ah, look at that, so cute. All right, so we've got the tomatoes on that side, and then we've got the spinach, got some greens. I'm gonna put this on this side. Spinach, if you've cooked spinach before, you know, like it literally shrinks hardcore when it's cooked. So this looks like a lot, but it gets so small. Like honestly, I'll start with that, and then as it cooks, I'll add more. Onions, yes, I'm lazy. I bought pre-cut onions, okay. Adding some garlic, olive oil, and then obviously you're like, Danielle, it's pasta, it needs water. Literally on Pinterest, there's no directions, it's just a video. So I just fill up about, what is this? Three fourths of a cup, pour it over. Sometimes I add more as needed, but that should be good for now. Turn it on, and then you'll literally see it start to boil just as you would when you make pasta. But yeah, I just put this on so it cooks a little better, and then I check on it every now and then, stir it around as the pasta starts to soften. You'll see, but yeah, there it goes. Baby. Had to add the Yule log for the vibes, right? So here it's going. I just have to keep mixing it because I don't want like the bottom of the pasta to burn. But yeah, I just keep adding spinach because it just literally shrinks. Um, and adding a little olive oil and water here and there, but it's so yummy. Dinner is served, got my date here. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we just had dinner. It was pretty good, I think, right? Yeah, great. Yay. Um, Ryan, you wanna tell everybody what we're doing? Why? What do you mean? I'm leaving you on the spot. You gotta tell them what we're gonna do tonight. Oh, we're going to Fida. We're gonna go, we decided to go to Fida instead because there's just like more to like do there. Yeah. Why? No, 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 no. I didn't know I was the other. I didn't know it was filmed. Walk around the seaport. It's a really pretty view of the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe get some ice cream or something. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna throw a little jacket on over top of my dress. So here is the final fit. A little brown leather jacket it's from Revolve. I'll link it below and a dupe that's a lot cheaper. Dress, Zara, shoes, Converse. I'm gonna use this bag. Yeah. He's that's wearing that. a podcast sponsor sweatshirt. Yeah, who was this? 10,000. Thank you, 10,000. He loves it. It's his going out sweatshirt. It's black. It's nice. With the jeans. Look at you go. Alright, so we're in the elevator and then I just didn't like my outfit. It just felt very restricting. And I are up here and Ryan's like, well, do you need to update them now that you changed your outfit? So, I'm gonna keep the dress and the sneakers, but <laughs> I just, I don't know. The jacket wasn't doing it for, oh, my vacuum. But I could also do a black leather jacket. What do you think, Ryan? Um, yeah, black leather works. Do whatever. And I need to switch to my smaller bag, too, because... This one or the brown one? I feel like this one. This, the smaller bag. Ah, oh, so much better. There you go. Thanks for updating them. Gotcha. So we are now in Fi Dye. And I literally almost lived there. I toured that apartment. Um, and Ryan had the observation, and it's true, like everything over here is already closed for the night. That was one of the things we were worried about if we'd lived in Fi Day. Yeah. Now this place is open. 
but like the Chipotle, the Cava, they all close so early over here because it's like a lot of people work over here or pre-COVID at least did. Like I wonder if this Chipotle is probably closed, but yeah, walk into the water. Nicest, coolest subway station. It's cool. Funky. Oh yeah, there's like food places in here during the day. Doing a whole little tour. Guys, I just had such a moment. This girl saw me, recognized me, but she goes, and I've never heard this before. She was like, oh my gosh, I recognize you from TikTok. Ryan, I'm a TikToker now. Oh, <laughs> I literally was like, no way. I just thought that was really cool. So it was really nice to meet her. She's in dental school at NYU. Shout out. She probably doesn't even know I have a YouTube channel though. She literally knew me from TikTok, which is so cool. Good morning. Brunch outfit of the day. White long sleeve is free people. Puffer vest is Zara. A gold day jeans and my white Air Forces, of course. I think Ryan's calling me. He's probably wondering where I am. <laughs> I'm here. All right, I'm coming. Yay. All right, we are headed to brunch. We're going to Little Rebel. Let's go. <laughs> go for it. Get it. Go for it. What's your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> Walking around the East Village right now. It's so cute. I don't think I've ever been like this up and at them on a Saturday morning in New York yet. And like, there's like kids going to basketball and families. People, and about. people getting their ingredients for their Bloody Marys. <laughs> the whole time. Little Rebel was amazing. We wrote it down as a potential spot that might be like our new go-to. Cause it was just like good vibes. The upstairs was so cool. Bro, we're disclosing that information. Oh yeah. Well, it's a contender. It's a so. contender. Maybe people can convince us otherwise or for it. <laughs> You're getting me flowers from here? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan was like, oh, that one time I got you flowers was here. I was like, You're getting me flowers from here right now? Sneaky. 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 Okay, guys, so Ryan and I are going to go explore Dumbo area today and walking around the East Village. Everyone is dressed to the nines right now, fashion forward. Um, and I liked my outfit, but it honestly was not warm enough and I just am in the mid of change So I'm going to attempt to build a new outfit. So I put on these leather leggings. I have from um, Commando. I love them. I'm gonna put on these boots You guys are gonna get dressed with me. We're gonna try and put an outfit together I have an idea, but I love the look of hoodies with leather jackets or blazers Woo! So we're gonna try that. Okay Definitely like the bottom half, it's cute, it's sleek. Okay, yeah, this part is good. This is cute, but I almost feel like it's too many colors, and I don't really like the drawstring. Hmm. Okay, this is better. I'm not against it. I wish it was a cropped hoodie now. You guys are like, oh my gosh, chill, Danielle. <laughs> Okay, or I have this little number, which I bought it as a dress, but like it opened so much right here that I was like, I, I don't know how people wear it as a dress unless you wear like shorts underneath. So it could be a cute top with the leggings and boots. But is this gonna be warm enough? Cause I wouldn't wanna wear a jacket over this. I literally keep looking out the window to see what other people are wearing. Also, my hair is annoying me. If you guys can't tell, I'm having major outfit issues this morning. I don't know why. I don't know why, but anything I wear will be fine. Updates to come. I'm just gonna circle around my apartment for three more minutes and figure it out. Okay, you guys, here is the final fit. I decided on the hoodie and leather jacket. I wish I had a longer leather jacket. Maybe I will look for one of those in the next few weeks, but yeah, here's the fit. So excited, it's really cloudy out. Um, so it's definitely gonna be cold, so this will keep me nice and warm. I love this bag because it fits this camera. It's a big reason I like to carry it around. And it doesn't have silver or gold hardware, so it matches with everything, even though mixing and matching is so in too. But yeah, Ryan and I are gonna go explore. We haven't decided if we wanna take the train or take the ferry, which is supposed to be like really fun. We shall see, but let's go on an adventure.
everybody. This is my ideal Saturday. I am in bed, no clothes on. So crazy, I know. I got so hot. <laughs> we um, walked around a lot, but then like obviously in the subway station, it's really hot down there. So I literally got home and honestly took all my clothes off and got in bed. Um, it's 5.30. And I don't know why my head just really hurts today. And it's one of, it's like one of those where you just want to keep your eyes closed. But I got like the best sleep ever last night. So I don't know. I'm just having a little self-care moment. Ryan got some work email. So he went to go do that. I think I'm just going to chill. And make sure that my video goes up tomorrow. And my art piece above my bed just came in. I'm going to open that up. And hopefully it's the right color. Because I literally already got it. And it was in the wrong color. Anyways, that's the update. I'm just going to close my eyes and roll my face with this um, moisturizing face mask on. But today was so nice. And I'll see you guys in a little. Guys, look how cozy my room is right now. I have plans tonight, but oh my goodness. This is so cozy. Just took a little nap. Heated up some of the one pot pasta I made yesterday. Gonna just finish up this video so it uploads tomorrow. And then I'm gonna start getting ready for the night. Black crop top. I forgot the bars are like open late again. Right now, <laughs> balance. Athens vlog is officially done. I rough cut it yesterday, so I just added the music and text. Hi guys, so just got ready and I listened to this playlist that I listened, I still listen to it a lot. It's called New Year on my Spotify. My Spotify is linked below, but it's just called Danielle Marie. It's like so old. I'm listening to this playlist I used to listen to like early college to get ready and it's just bringing back all the feels like right before I met Ryan. Um, this was like an era in my life. And like right now it's the song's on called Thank Me Now by Drake. Love it. And there's like Ariana Grande in there, some Big Sean. Like I listen to this play, so I really need to like get excited to go out. I just like haven't been in the mood to go out lately. I don't know why. Like I love to dance, have it go out, but like I don't know. I just struggle. I struggle. I don't struggle, but I never know to order at a bar. I literally that's why I love Polly's in Georgia so much because I love the man Mosa. I love their, oh, like I just, there's so many drinks I love there. And for some reason, like just when I go to a bar, I don't know what to order. And I'm a slow drinker. It's, just, it's literally stupid problems. But if you guys have any drink recommendations, comment down below. I literally just made a TikTok about it. Someone recommended I try a Bay Breeze, which I think I would like. It's cranberry juice, orange juice, and vodka. Sounds up my alley. Sometimes I feel weird just getting like a screwdriver. Or like, I don't really like vodka crayons. Like no one loves a vodka crayon. It's just like, when in doubt, order one. I don't like vodka soda. I don't like tequila. <sighs> so I just like, never am excited to go to like a bar because I just don't, I don't know. I like cocktails, but I want to go to a bar bar because I want to dance. So it's just this, I don't know. Does anyone else feel this way? Anyways, it's literally so dumb. Where was I going with this? Oh. But tonight's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited. Um, there's a ton of UGA grads here, especially UGA grads that just graduated with me in 2021. And I'm in this like UGA girls group chat and she set up, I'm a little late, I need to go. She set up this like table for us at Miss U, which is a big popular Lower East Side bar for like 20 of us girls. So I'm really excited. So I'm gonna head over there. I haven't met even all the people. Like I'm in this big UGA group me too. And I don't know a lot of these girls and then some of them I do. So I'm just kind of putting myself out there meeting some alum, you know, um, but we're gonna take a ginger shot because I feel like that's appropriate. And then I'll show you guys my outfit and stop ranting. Cheers. <laughs> See, all I need in life are ginger shots. Who needs alcohol? So I'm finally wearing this shirt out. I'm so excited. It's from styleaddict.com. Elizabeth picked, me, picked it out for me. Um, mascara is already under my eyes. I literally can't wear mascara. See, this is, ugh. I love it. It's this little mesh swirly top. I'm wearing a bralette underneath, and then I'm wearing my Aritzia Molina pants. And then my Steve Madden Cobra boots. I love these. I will link them down below. They're so tall, but they're so comfortable because they're like platform. The same hoop earrings I was wearing earlier. And I don't know, maybe I'll add a leather jacket. Been really wearing this leather jacket a lot this weekend. Kind of funny. Um, I mean, that's like a lot of leather. 
or I can do like a blazer. I don't know, updated to come. I'm like doing my outfit issues this weekend. Okay, I ultimately decided on the leather jacket. Thank you all for caring so much. Um, I haven't worn this bag out yet. I'm going to bring it out tonight. It's from Stodd. It's also where my little moon bag is from. It's so beautiful. Brooke got this super glitzy bag and I was like, I want one too. So I love this one. It's like a little shoulder bag. Just adds a little pop, a little nighttime vibe. So we're gonna go. I'm excited. I'm gonna try Baybreeze and we'll see how it goes. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning. I'm waiting on Ryan right now. We are about to go walk and find some place for breakfast. We were gonna go to the place we always go to get bagels. But we're gonna adventure a little bit. Brian wanted to go put his Braves on because the Braves are headed to the World Series. Serious, baby. So we're gonna head to get some breakfast. Plan is today a true Sunday activity. We're gonna go thrifting, I think. Ryan wants to find some cool things <laughs> for Yo, his apartment. We'll see what happens with that. We'll see what happens. I think we're gonna, I mean, we'll at least hit one spot. I'll ask Margo where to go. He might help me hang up something above my bed. Just lots of things. Anyways, Football's on. Big Sunday energy. So we stumbled upon black seed bagels. I've been wanting to come here actually, so it worked out. They didn't have ham, so I got a bacon, egg, and cheese, which is like a classic anyways. I usually like ham, egg, and cheese. And he told them to surprise him for his bagel, so we'll see what happens. So I was basically in my pajamas earlier, so I changed. This is today's fit, free people's shirt, jacket. I think it's from Forever 21, like years ago. I love it. Um, jeans are Shop Alley Grace, Converse, white bag. Ryan found a new Carhartt jacket from the L Train Vintage Store, so cool. A subscriber I met yesterday had recommended it, so that was exciting. Went to the flea market, it was good. Got juices, came back, I got ready because Ryan wants to go check out the Chelsea flea market. Ooh. So we're gonna, we're gonna take the train to the flea market. We're so New York, mm. I love it. Hopefully I'm not gonna be too hot. I can't, the weather, everyone's wearing jackets outside. So I guess we'll see, but I'm excited to explore. We might check out Little Island since we do that on Friday, but we'll go to the flea market first since that closes at five. In Madison Square Park now. Sadly, no luck at the flea market. It was already kind of picked over, but we will find something. At Chelsea Market now, and there is an artist in fleas. And I feel like they might have some cool wall art for Ryan, and I just love artists and fleas. They always have really, really cool vendors and fun things to look at. Ryan found two prints, so exciting. Headed to Little Island, oh I see it over there. I'm excited. So the little island is really pretty. Um, definitely, we were just there for like 15 minutes, but it's definitely worth checking out. Yeah. Now we're the walking around meat packing district and we are hungry, we want dinner. And we obviously don't have groceries, obviously. 
I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow, but for dinner we were like, let's just see what we see. And so I, I think I said like, oh yeah, we'll just stumble upon something. And Ryan said, okay, only if we stumble upon. So we have to quite literally stumble, and that is where we will eat dinner. Updates to come. Yep. JK, we decided to come to the East Village and eat so we could just walk back. So we took the train. There's a ton of little restaurants over here, so we wanna find a yummy little spot. We'll still have to stumble upon it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lots of stumbling. Lots of stumbling today. Oh, I see, I see some restaurants. This is good. across this restaurant called Numero 28 Pizzeria. I like when you can sit outside, it's a good vibe. I think I'm not getting pizza though. I think I'm gonna get the chicken milanese. I love chicken milanese, so yeah, good vibes. Starting off with some bruschetta. Dinner is served. All right guys, it's like seven o'clock. It feels so much later because the sun's already starting to set earlier but um ryan and i just had the best day and i am so thankful for days like this with him um and just exploring in general we walked so much we were in all kinds of parts of town and i love days like that so much fun so my apartment is a little bit of a mess i kind of just like didn't clean it this morning and literally if i just leave it alone for a day it just gets cluttered so i want to clean organize a little bit, set good intentions for the week ahead. So I thought I'd do a little cleaning montage, um, starting off with me putting all my jackets away because I literally just threw all my jackets on the chairs. I was trying them on. Silly goose. Just finished cleaning the apartment and I just unboxed the piece of art that's gonna be going over my bed. I am so excited, it's perfect from Crate and Barrel, but I think it's gonna really bring the room together. I'm going for a very simplistic vibe. And then I think tomorrow um, my mirror for right here will arrive, um, which is the same mirror as the anthropology one, it's just shorter and it can be like freestanding on my little console right here. I think my bed is low enough that I won't have to worry about like seeing myself because I don't really like that, but I love the idea of just another, another mirror. It opens up the space. I was gonna do a work of art, but I just love mirrors. <laughs> Not in a narcissistic way. I just really like um, how mirrors look. I, I don't know. And it's like another fun little place to take a little Instagram too. Always thinking about that content. Um, but yeah, Ryan said he's gonna help me hang up that above my bed. And then my couch is coming this week, I believe. But yeah, if you guys didn't watch my week in my life vlog, you might not know, but I had so much couch drama. Basically, I ordered my original couch from Crane Barrel and they just keep delaying the delivery. Like 10 days, another 10 days and just kind of no hope, no like tracking, like literally nothing. And I totally understand everything is backed up right now, but unfortunately I need a couch. So Sierra and I made the decision to get another couch, which I also really like. It's a lot cooler looking than the Crate and Barrel one. It's more modern, it's more fun. It's not gonna be as like plush and, you know, 
comfy as the crate and barrel one was but this one is really cool too it's like round and like it's from allmodern.com and it's just so many of you guys were dming me like good luck i still haven't gotten my couch and i ordered it in april so i wasn't feeling very motivated with that and like right now i want to sit and watch you season three but i have my air mattress here it's just not as comfy you know i'm like ready for a couch so and then the apartment will be done essentially i mean i'll always be like adding little things but you know what i mean so and then sierra can come sierra is my interior designer she's incredible i'm so happy i worked with her i'll have a link to her instagram down below if you guys want to check her out she is awesome anyways i think i'm going to end the vlog here i'm going to get in the shower and put my pajamas on and just have myself an evening i hope you guys enjoyed this weekend in my life i think this weekend in my life was just awesome i had a little bit of everything lots of exploring i feel really fulfilled after this weekend and i'm just so excited um that i don't know it was just a good weekend and i feel really good about it and i'm excited for the week to come because it's halloween i don't even know how i'm gonna format all those vlogs like do i do a weekend in my life and then hollow weekend or just one i don't know or maybe i'll take a couple days off from vlogging and then start hollow weekend that could be something to do too i don't know lots to think about love you guys so much i'm playing with this claw clip thank you all for watching subscribe if you guys are new here click that button down below and I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Bye.